Voila's comments against the backdrop of the anti draft agency's resolve to prosecute the former governor of Kogi State, Yaya Bilu. The FCC is seeking to arraign Bilu on 19 counts bordering on alleged money laundry, breach of trust, and misappropriation of funds to the tune of 80.2 billion naira. Speaking on the developments, Boala said the chairman of the EFCC, Ola Ulukoyede, shot himself in the leg during an interview he gave on Tuesday. He said, I don't think at this stage anyone should doubt that the EFCC needs reform. In the interview he had on Tuesday, he shot himself so many types of bullets, showing the world that it is a disproportionate application of their principles. One, he said he would give the governor a chance to come to his office through the back door for an interview, which nobody gets. And the law is that everyone is equal and nobody is above the law. Hmm. Secondly, it also shows the zeal with which Yaya Bello must be arrested. There are similar cases before him to which he has given a preliminary indictment but the person has not been arrested. A good example is the suspended humanitarian minister and there is no drama around her. He even said it is not about her but the system. In one breath it is about personality, in another it is not. Okay. Well, uh, in the case of a... Uh, if you want to take it to that route because of course the man goofed many times but the, uh, in the case of a uh, better edu but Aido was invited and she went. But Yaya Bello is making these complicating issues. That is where the problem lies. Yaya Bello is just trying to create problems and, you know, uh, uh, you know, create stories here and there. And that is exactly uh, what uh, is happening. And that is the reason why you see or you hear the, the EFCC boss talking about it. Uh, oh, if he could, uh, if he could go after. Uh, who, uh, I think uh, the former Quara governor and also there's somebody he made mention an ego person and all of that not what he what stops him if, even if he could if he could go after his own tribesman and all of that I think uh, those are the things that he said that he really spoiled everything the press release or whatever conference that uh, he had or whether you call it interview he goofed many times so uh, but uh, I just want to pinpoint uh, the case of a uh, beta edu beta edu was invited no drama she didn't refuse anything but you can imagine the way yaga Bilu and uh, the governor would do the kind of game they played well um it still boils down on what a lot of people are saying that uh, the the action they are taking or they took against some other people is different from what they are doing to yaya Bilu. i'm sure yaya Bilu don't grease the palm of this uh, stomach infrastructure buhala this man should just keep his mouth shut because his words is worthless. There's nothing they can say that we earn any earn him any more respect. He jumped from working for Tinubu to working for Atiku, thinking he would win the last election. Now that Atiku lost, Bohala has been speaking speaking a comeback to Tinubu. What kind of woman being are you? It is shameful. He can't even be here. Talking about the FCC, it is even does this is even, it doesn't make sense, my brother. Just face your law in the UK and let us be. The FCC and the ICPC missionary go represent the interests of all Nigerians, which is to abolish and uh, eradicate corruption virus from the vein of all Nigerians. We are 100% behind the two anti-corruption agencies, 100%. This man is okay. How speaking uh, Buhaha and anyhow like his name? Some people are just even bent uh, in strangulating this country for political gains. If Belo has not stolen, I know he wouldn't have been quoting laws through laws lawyers because uh, before appearing uh, before the AFCC, okay, inquire why his attention is being demanded. All is uh, all this running from pillar to post, hiding from AFCC, why his lawyers are singing like canary is only mindful of a criminal who is hiding doing this uh, doing his best in his eyes through his lawyers and supporters to whip up sympathy to escape justice all i want to hear is that below 
has done the right thing by going to the EFCC. Buhala, please show us his dead body now. Okay, Buhala, you can cry. Or you can just make sure you are not on the payroll of any of those criminals or else you will go in for it. What is bad in this spe in his speech? He can say anything. The goal is Yaya Bilu is arrested. That's, that means irrespective of what uh, the ESCC boss has said or is saying, he is in consequential according to this particular person. What is most important is that Yaya Bilu is arrested at the end of the day. Look at this betrayer called Rohala. You betray that he could the worst anyone can do to his master. EFCC is justifying its actions. What about you? Prostitute yourself from one party to another. You are all you are a disappointment to the law profession. Talkative, it talks too much. He can't vomit and leak it back. I have gone through this uh, piece and it's just all empty blab. The EFCC is not an empty brain like most of our politicians he knows the limits and privileges of office and he would always operate within them that is why buhala could not even cite any crime or offensive offense known to law that the chairman has committed just trying to sound sensational <laughs> what a bad example of an arrogant leader huh? who could not withstand the office of ESCC. ESCC, despite his bragging your agents would have advised you to visit them instead of running uh esther sketter running kitty kitty running kata kata okay uh wow in fact uh, he calls himself a lion a lion from where to where how from where to where oh of a truth the guy shot himself so badly i read the interview with sadness for nigeria is simply telling us that some people are giving preferential treatment as the head of the anti graft agency. Do you have a moral right calling a suspect to persuade him, offering to give him special treatment or soft measures? Or is it that uh, you intend to negotiate to get a cut from what is told and then throw the case under? And that is why Belu could so drag the agency in the mud because he has seen them all weakness of the agency as bite less and not so objective since it's so much uh, regarded the chairman could call to beg him to come for interrogation <laughs> uh, the system needs a lot of reforms the efcc may soon become worse than the police <laughs> it's unfortunate you are the one confusing yourself as uh, all he said are straightforward the chairman's statement shows the state of uh, rot in the system and compromised nature of our institutions, of accountability and responsibility. It shows the decadence and total collapse of institutions of governance. The president should deal with corruption squarely, even if that is his achievement. <laughs> Tinubu to deal with corruption. Like, seriously? Like, I listened to one journalist who was saying that, uh, that it is not uh, all appointments where a lot of people are just hungry, stomach infrastructure here and there. That it is not everybody, every appointment you just accept. That even when people are giving you assignments, the politicians that are giving you appointments, you should know their body language. You know whether they themselves, they, 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 they really want to fight corruption. Or people who really have a, who already have a baggages on them. Now they are giving you position. Even if you want to fight the corruption, you think they are ready to support you. Yeah, <clears throat> and when he was saying that, uh, yes, uh, the the met with, okay, one of the uh, statements he made that the met with the president and the presidency should go ahead. So you have to meet with the president. Ah, Sophia Kwa.